Good morning, Carolina Realty World. CarolinaRealtyWorld.com. Todd Long coming to you again today with a public service announcement. So this PSA is in reference to market timing and what happens when markets tend to rise in the real estate market. Right now we're on an uptrend, have been since 2012 here in 2018. I think we've got a couple more years left in this uptrend. But I've been in this market before. I've been in the market since 2000 as an investor and 2001 as a real estate agent. And I saw back in 2005, 6, and 7 people using their personal residences as piggy banks and putting equity lines against their personal residences to buy stuff. Now, I've done a video before and I'll link to it um, up top here if you're on YouTube and in the description if this is in Facebook that you're watching this. That is an okay premise for buying things of value. So what I mean by that, if you want to do an equity line, first of all, do an equity line of credit. Um, I just helped a client this past week um, establish an equity line of credit with a bank and um, for a good reason and um, there's some specials going on right now this particular bank was doing prime minus one and a half percent so around three percent interest on an equity line of credit which is really good um, that was for the first year and then after year one it goes back to prime now prime moves with the interest rates prime moves with the 10-year treasury note prime moves anytime mortgage rates move so that's the reason an equity line can be dangerous for long-term financing because that rate can spike up over time a lot of times there's a limit of four or five percent max that that can spike up that'd be something you want to check as well if you are thinking about doing an equity line and it's going to be for something that's a long-term purchase I do not suggest using an equity line for something that's a long-term purchase. So let me give you some ideas of some things that I think an equity line should be used for and could be used for. Sorry, that's one of the things about doing videos on your cell phone. When you get a telephone call, it stops the video. <laughs> ah, 8.45 in the morning, the calls have started. I love real estate. So, we were talking about equity lines and things you should and shouldn't buy with your equity line of credit. Good assets are things to buy. Appreciating assets are good things to buy. But only for short-term short, short -term financing. So, for example, if you wanted to buy an investment property and fix it up and then rent it out or flip it, flipping is a little more dangerous. You need two exit strategies on that. But talk to me if you're going to be an investor. That is a good way to use an equity line because a lot of times you can buy distressed properties with an established equity line because you are then a cash buyer. You're using the cash. You can write a check out of your equity line to buy something. It means you don't have to go through the approval process on a loan. Looks better for the seller and also allows you to buy things that might be more distressed that lenders won't actually lend on. Then you fix that property up. You can refinance out of the property, get your money back out of it repay off your equity line. That's a good way to use an equity line in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, but I have used that in that way before and it's been very profitable and it's worked. Things that you may use an equity line for but aren't necessarily great ideas would be to buy yourself a car. Now, it's a depreciating asset, so I don't think that's a great use of the money and yet if you if it is similar to the financing product that you can get going to the um, car lot you're probably better off using an equity line to do it only because there are some interest rate deduction um, things that can happen with a home equity loan that can't happen with a car loan so that might be a reason again short-term financing when you're using your equity line great Interest rates probably aren't going to spike so much. That's going to make a big difference. Two years, probably okay. Three-year money with your invest with your equity line, probably the maximum I would suggest because interest rates could move quite a bit in that amount of time. Bad things to buy with your equity line are totally depreciating assets. 
So if you want a new boat to go out on Lake Norman, do not buy that on your equity line. That thing is going to lose value immediately. And honestly, uh, oh, this is a, a long, I can do a whole different video on this, but buy an appreciating asset like a piece of real estate that's going to pay you a couple of hundred dollars per month and somebody else is going to be paying off that mortgage for you even with you getting that cash flow and then take that cash flow of two hundred dollars per month and use that to go purchase your fun toy that you want to buy it's a whole long strategy involved with that but don't use your equity line to buy depreciating assets that you really don't have to have a car is different in my opinion because we have to have transportation we have to get around all right, that is it for today's public service announcement. Um, I, if you have any questions about establishing an equity line, that is not obviously something as a real estate agent I'm normally going to do, but I would, I would be happy to give you some guidance on that and explain to you um, some different places that you can look for good equity line options in our area because I've done some research recently for a client. Oh, let me explain why this client is doing this. This client owns a house free and clear. She's downsizing, and she wants to buy a new house before she sells the old house. That way she doesn't have to double move or move on the same day, back-to-back -back closings, that sort of thing. She just wants to make her life easier. Well, she was thinking she'd go out and establish a new loan on the new house, and then when she sells the old house, just pay it off. It made more sense for her to establish an equity line on the current home that she is in, use that money to buy the new house then when we go to sell the old house we can just pay off that equity line it's a whole lot less expensive to establish an equity line than it is a first mortgage on a new house and she's going to be a buyer in cash on that new house that is a brilliant way to do this maneuver if um, you have equity in the home that you buy that you currently live in again todd long carolina realty world and keller williams if you have any questions about real estate any questions about real estate give me a call i'll be happy to help 704-360-0667 have a great week hey if you find these videos helpful and you're looking to buy sell or invest in real estate we would like to help you if you're not looking to do anything in real estate now and you would like to support us you can do that by simply when you shop on Amazon, go to smile.amazon.com and you can choose a charity that you can support. And I would really appreciate it if you would support this charity. This is a genetic disorder that affects my family and we're looking for a cure. So anytime you shop on Amazon, they will donate funds to this cause. And as always, a like and a share are appreciated. Thanks for your help.